Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. I don't know who's speaking. Nelson. Nelson. Oh, yes. Yes, you did promise to call. How are you, Flogre? How's your day going? Bad. Bad? Tell me about it. What happened? Flogsy. Hello, Flogsy. What's going on here? What's with the bag? Good morning. That does not answer my question. We're supposed to be going to church. What's with the box? <sighs> Last night, we talked about you taking me to my father. Is something wrong with you? You're supposed to be getting ready for church. <sighs> Mom, I didn't just fall from the sky. I have a father. Who is he? Where is he? Where can I find him? Okay. If you don't want to take me to him, tell me where he is. I can go there. Wow. <laughs> Somebody's manning up. That's good. Don't you dare get me pissed. Get this box out of here. Go get dressed. We're going to church. End this whole drama right now. Someone whose house is on fire doesn't go around chasing mice. Oh, awesome, great DBR. Now you're going to tell me parables. You're going to speak in parables to me. Don't you get me upset. I'm warning you for the second time. Pick your box, go upstairs, go get ready for church and don't be stupid. You're taking me to my father. Well, I'm going to have to disappoint you. I do not know who your father is. I... Are you mad? I don't understand. You think if I know who your father is, you'd be in this house wasting and loafing around like an idiot? Uh, my goodness, you are a thorn on my flesh. You are one mistake I have made I could never forgive myself for. You are annoying. You've ruined so many things for me. I do not like to have you around here. You piss me off all the time. I'm just, I'm just holding myself back. So do not get me angry. Get out of here with this box. Go get ready for church. I... I'm not a bastard. I'm not a bastard. Am I? This is your last chance, Emmanuel. Get upstairs, get ready, and go to church. Perhaps God will listen to your prayers and get you the hell out of my life. Am I? Good job! Standing here asking me who his father is like I owe him. No! Did you just break anything, girl? You don't want to get me mad! Hey! Get back here! Hey! No! Um, Brother James, don't worry, everything is going to be fine. I have interceded for her in prayers. Of course, she would deliver like the Hebrew women. The Lord is in control. I hear God as a man hear his friend. And the Lord has told me that everything will be fine. Right? <laughs> oh, it was nice. Very nice. <laughs> so what? Oh, oh. Daughters of Zion. Oh, good afternoon. God bless you. Papa. You're blessing to this service, right? It was nice. To God be the glory. Yeah. I didn't see Emmanuel today in service. What happened? Um, he went to see my mother. Oh, I see. Okay, say me well to him when he comes I back. I will. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Amen. Why did you lie to a pastor? Last night, Auntie Martha was sacked for telling me what she told me. Emmanuel, <sighs> are you telling me that the maid has been sacked? Yes. That same day, 
I packed all my things. In the morning, I woke up as early as I could, dressed up and picked my box, waiting patiently for her. But when she finally came, she dropped the bombshell. The bomb? No, I meant the bombshell. Oh, come on. She never denied being her son. But what pained me the most is that she said, I don't have a father. Oh, no. Come on. How could a big lady like that would tell me that she don't know who got her pregnant or who is responsible for that pregnancy? No. See, Emmanuel, from what I've gathered so far, huh? I could see your auntie is going through a lot of emotional stress, big problems. But you know what? You need to love her. Don't hate her. Okay? I always loved her. But she always shoves me away like a trash. Oh, no. Come on. Don't worry about that. Have you had something today? No. Don't worry. I'll take you somewhere you have good food. Let's go. Let's go. Um, come in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable while I fix us something to eat. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. I thought you had someone to help you do all of that. Well, I did, but I sent her on an indefinite suspension yesterday. You fired her? <laughs> kind of. Why? You want to tell me? Um, why don't we talk about the why later? All right. Please sit down. All right. Excuse me. What's a babe? Oh, I heard that. the manager, please. Hurry up. Oh. Uh, babe, I think... Floxy, your phone is um, ringing. Someone's calling you. One minute. Speak it, I'm coming. Oh, okay. It's a Sunday. I'm just going to call you baby. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, just hold on. All right, thank you. Yep, okay. Yeah, someone's calling. Yeah, it's okay. Hello? Hi, Nelson. Who was that? My friend. Your friend? You have a boyfriend? I was actually cooking and I just quickly picked up your call. Can I call you back? Don't try to change the topic. That's not what I'm talking about. I said, do you have a boyfriend? Um, have a blessed day. Um, Nelson, I'm going to call you back. I'm really very busy now. I'm in the middle of something. Like, really? Okay, bye. Ah, thanks. One minute. All right. Thank you. He has a boyfriend in the arms of a man on a Sunday afternoon. I guess the man is taking her to the moon. Women. Oh. 
women. Women. Well done. Hi, you're here. Good job. Thank you. So I was uh, hoping I could help you do one of the chores in the kitchen. Okay, what exactly? Um, I can pound. Yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, I do not pound. Oh. I blend. Well, in my opinion, I feel pounding makes you more African as a woman. Yeah. Says who? Because I do not have the time to pound. And like I said earlier, I always blend. Okay, so I'll tell you something. Take for instance, this is your pepper, right? Mm -hmm. You put a lot of water into it. Mm -hmm. You wash it properly and make sure it is clean. You put it right inside the mortar and pound it with your pesto. <laughs> pound it like pound, 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 pound everything. <laughs> but somebody who has a lot of sisters, you know so much. Okay, I'll tell you. Let's get started first. Sorry, where's your mortar? You're serious? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, no, I have to get started. Okay, I'll just wash these first and the... Uh, You like it? Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Mm, really nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Good afternoon. Hey, cute boy. How are you? I'm fine. You okay? Yes. Oh, that's great. You didn't tell me you have a, a kid brother. Oh, yes, yes, I do. I do. My, <coughs> my kid brother. <laughs> no. That's great. Emmanuel is so brilliant. And very handsome too. Yes, yes, he is. Very handsome. You know his name already. Yes. Uh, we talked a few days ago. And when I came, yeah. He's handsome. Like my dad. I see. <laughs> He's such a cool kid. Yes, he is. <laughs> my kid brother. Okay? Yes. What are you doing? Eating. I can see you're eating. Where? <laughs> Here. I see you. Why? Take it to your room, but I still go to the kitchen where you're coming from. No, let him eat. Um, no, it's just because, you know, he's a child. Just don't want him influenced by whatever it is we're talking about. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Oh no, no, it's you know. Kids these days are really smart. They'll be wondering why you're here. <laughs> why you slept here. Okay, so uh he just wants to eat and... He's, he's okay. He's it's, it's appropriate to eat on a dining table, right? Oh, yes, yes. I just don't like to expose my kid brother to... You know. What? <laughs> All right. Cool. Are you alright? <laughs> Perfect. I've never been better. Oh yeah. 
Shall we? <laughs> what? I love you. I love you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Aren't you going to say anything? Can we go? Listen, I love you. I'm serious about it. Josh. Yeah. Being in and out of relationships, I just, I... Okay, I... Listen, what are you trying to say? Do you think I'm lying to you or I'm trying to deceive you or something? What is it? I love you. Can we go? Hey. Can I get a hug or a peck or something? Just treat me nice. Come on. Come on, Josh. Oh, luxury. Hello, sir. Hi, Nelson. Yes, luxury. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good day, sir. So why haven't I seen you all of these days? Nelson, my friend here has said good day, sir, severally. Your friend has said good day. What friend? Where is it? I can't seem to see any friend. Look, you know, Flockley, you and I need to get to know each other very well. That can only be done when we get together. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's it. I'll give you a call. I'm just just trying to understand why you will sit before me and tell me you have a boyfriend? My friend. Okay, so what's the difference between a boyfriend and a friend? Sorry, why are you whining like a child? Okay, I am now a child. I'm now a child. I'm now childish because I'm asking you who I saw with you. Who was he to you? The young man I saw with you. Who was he? Or... Is he the father of your son? Excuse me. Boy bashed on you the other day. I was talking to you on the phone and I was asking you to take him to his father. Where did you get that from? And what, what is this about? Floxy. Why do you have to lie to me? Do you have to lie to my face? What is wrong with you? You know what? You're just going to tell me the size of your finger and I'll slide the ring. In that finger. No. I'll let all this nonsense slap. No, no, no. The problem here is not about the ring, you know, sliding a ring into my finger. The problem is you. The problem is me. How? You invite me out to lunch only to accuse me of cheating when we aren't even dating. We aren't even dating. So what are we doing? What in the world are okay, we doing? Okay, that's it. I have to go. I have more important things to do than to sit here and be interrogated. Thank you. Thank you very much, but I have to go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you are here already. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Floxy is not here yet. Um, she stepped out for lunch. Okay. So, what do you care for? Nothing, please. Can I offer you tea or coffee? Nothing. I'll just wait for Flogsy to get back. Even water? I said nothing, ma'am. Thank you. It's alright, just relax. Flogs will be back shortly. Thank you. Love her, boy. <laughs> My name is Helen and I have some vital information to share with you. Okay. So, I saw you with one nursing guy and I decided to come and talk to you to avoid stories that touches the heart. I'm sorry, I don't get. Nursing is one man that you will never want to be with. Why? Did he ever mention to you that he was married before? Yes, divorced. See, you're too beautiful and too classy to end up with a man like Nelson. Let me tell you something, Nelson is a woman bitter. He beat up his wife twice. 
which resulted to uh, her miscarriages. What? Yes. Mercy was one man that can never stand another man talking with you. Or even saying hi in his presence. I'm sorry, how, how do you know this much? <laughs> his ex-wife is my friend and I was her maid of honor during her wedding. So I am telling you the truth, run as fast as your legs can carry you. Nelson is not a good man. Are you sure we're talking about the same Nelson here? Yes, Nelson, tall and I know him. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Honey, if those things you just pointed out are being said about Nelson, I would advise you run. Huh? Girlfriend, run for your dear life. It's worse. The guy is a chronic jealous lover. Ooh. Just, you needed to see the way he was fuming when he saw Josh. I mean, fuming. His expressions, he couldn't even hide it. George, on the other hand, was just CCC, cool, calm, collected, just calm, not asking any questions, just okay. In fact, he politely greeted like four times. Nelson four. did not even respond. He was fuming and shaking. Like, you know, I know that Josh is a nice guy. Mm -hmm. And I think you should go out for him. Okay. Yeah, I'm dating. He's a nice guy. Then it's called this Nelson. Okay, Sutsia. What do you want? You mean? No, no, no. Hey. You, should, you should date no. Josh. Just me. He's I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi, ladies. Hello, Josh. You having a good day? Oh, yes. yes. Perfect. Wait. Great. <laughs> so, um... I'm here to take you out for lunch. I hope you don't mind. Um, yes. Yeah. I'll take this from here. Lunch. Um, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I'll be in the car. All right. I'll be out in a minute. Right. Mm. Make sure you enjoy your lunch. Shh. Just go. Make shoes. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Where's your mind? You're not here. I am. Just a bit lost. Floxy, you're so fine. You're a very beautiful girl. Thank you. <laughs> what? Floxy, is there something stopping us from being together? None that I can think of. Why are we not together? I see the way you look at me, Oblitz. Certainly. What's that about? <laughs> How do you know I look at you? I mean, my shades are really tinted. I see through you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Listen, um, no jokes, yeah? You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. And for a while now, I've been, you know, trying to make some type of decision to, you to know. To what? <laughs> To what? Finally, the ego has landed. Tell me more. What was the experience like? Was it good or bad? <laughs> Did he propose? Mm. <laughs> Girl, I am so happy for you. Finally. <laughs> um, listen, Flugs. In as much as we are happy celebrating the good things that are about to happen in your life, I need you to be careful. You don't go about telling him about Emmanuel, right? 
Because if you tell him about Emmanuel, it's going to scare him away. It's going to walk away. And you'll be lonely again. Or are you saying Emma is going to tell him? She's got better things to do with her life than gossiping about you. Hmm? Are we clear now? Babe, please, Flugsy, don't spoil this for him. For us, do not tell him about Emmanuel. Don't let him know you're Emmanuel's mom. It's simple. Flugsy, I am your friend, and I want the best for you. And this is what you are going to do as friends. Bye. And enjoy it. <laughs> Flugsy. <sighs> it actually feels so good to be in love. Hi, Amanda. How are you and the kids? Yes, I called you earlier, but um, you didn't pick up, so I left you a message. You are dating Flux, my friend. Um, we're dating, actually. How long has this been going on? Uh, for a while now, yeah. Do you love her? Of course I love her, I do. Well, I, f I feel she's still going to tell you. Maybe she's just taking her time. I'm sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Love is not enough. She's beautiful and successful, too. I want to marry her. Have you told her yet? Not yet. I wanted to talk to you about it first before I proposed to her. No, I haven't, but I will, when the time comes. Who am I to stand in the way of your happiness? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I wish you well. Hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> um. What? Just the right way. Listen, marry me, okay? I have, um, I, I don't know how to express myself right now, but just, just marry me. I love you. I want you to marry me, be my wife. Josh, I, I, hey, just say yes. That's all you have to say. You don't have to say any other thing. Just say yes, I love you, you love me, we love each other, and uh, I want you to be my wife, the mother of my children, and my companion, my, my best friend. And... Okay, you keep calling my name, but you don't say anything. Why are you stuttering? Are you trying to reject my proposal? No, no. Is there someone else you're in love with? No. So what the pro what's, what's the problem? Yeah, just say it. Tell me. If you don't love me enough to marry me, then just say it. Just go ahead. Just tell me what the problem is. <sighs> Emmanuel. Emmanuel is my... Is Emmanuel okay? 
Yes, it's fine. He's my son. Yeah, I mean, your son can be your brother, your brother can... No. No. He is my son. My... My son. I'm so sorry, I'm... I didn't know that. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I ought to have told you I... Hey, hold on. I'm trying to get something right. Emmanuel is your son, like your biological son, and you didn't think it was right for you to tell me? I was going to tell me. I don't know. I... You are a baby mama and you didn't think... Can you please... Can you please not say it like that? How else do I say it? You, 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 you've... Oh. Listen, can I please explain? Okay, this is my, my cue today. No, 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 can I... Can I hey, 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 stop, it's okay. Have a, have a good day. I'm alive, but I'm not leaving. You haunting me on daily. Can you ever love me someday? When will this be over? Someday. Be over. Oh God, please. Can't wait for this to be over. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm educated, I'm beautiful. Why can't I get married? Why, why not? Why? Oh God. Why can't I settle down? Why? Oh, it's Manuel. That boy is just looking for bad luck in my life. He's the only reason why I'm stagnant with no movement when it comes to men. Don't you help me? I'm 36, I need to settle. I have to settle. Oh my God. I'm crazy. Why do I have a son? Why? I have to settle, I have to settle, I have to settle. And that boy is like a stumbling block in my life. God, please, I have to settle. Please help me settle. I can't believe that even Josh, Josh will just walk away like the rest of them. Even Josh. Talking nonsense. Yes. What the hell is wrong with you? You knew she had a child before. You knew she's a baby mama and you want me to get married to her. Are you out of your mind? What type of a sister are you? The point is, you knew she had a child before. You knew she is a baby mama. How come you never told me? 
Oh, listen, don't even do that. All right? Don't even do that right now. I don't expect this from you. I do not care. Listen, I don't care about her explanations. I am uninterested. Do you understand me? And don't even try to patronize me right now. Don't do that. Listen, I said, don't patronize me, okay? Because there's nothing you're going to tell me right now that would make me change my mind. Absolutely nothing. I am not going to give in to your cheap blackmail at this point, okay? I'll go out there and find me a brand new girl, not a second-handed one, because it is over between Flogsy and I. It's over. I said that. What is going on here? I'm just exhausted. Really? I'm exhausted. The entire thing just makes no sense. I swear, Jessica. <laughs> oh! Flogs. What happened? It's not Emmanuel. That boy has sworn not to leave my life alone. Emmanuel? Yes. What did he do this time? And why are you saying something like this? Why would you want your son to live your life? That boy is a thorn on my flesh. That boy is a curse in my life. Okay, calm down. Emmanuel is not a curse. Right? What happened? Floxy. Josh left. What? He left? What happened? Why, why would he go? He proposed. Oh and I God. thought it was wise for me to tell him the truth before he finds out or before I accept his ring. Look, see, you told him the truth. Why did you tell him the because truth? Because he's a man's brother, he will still find out. And so? Why are you being unnecessarily obstinate? Have I not warned you not to tell them? You should not tell them. So, so, so he left, just like that. You just call me names. Next week is my birthday. We plan for it to be grand. And now he left calling me baby mama, calling me a prostitute. He left with the ring. Oh, this is no good. Please. Having a child outside wedlock is a curse. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I won't take that. Emmanuel is not a curse in your life. No, he's a curse. He's a blessing in your life. No! He's a blessing! That useless child is a curse. He's not a curse. God, I swear I wish him dead. No! You're not supposed to. You should have waited for me so that we can plan something, you know? Just... It's just a guess. Anyways, I, I, I'm so sorry. You will be all right. Trust me, I am here for you. You just could have waited for me to come. So we'll just we'll think of something else. And sip. Alcohol? A drop. Mm -mm. You don't, you need water. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Stop. Water is good. A pop. When you look at me, all you see is the sky from your past that you wanna let go. Wanna let go forever You hurting me I am blamed for your misfortune I wish I can take all your pain away Someday be over for this to be over Oh, thank you. I didn't even know it was my birthday today. I know. The reason you didn't make any post online. Quite unlike you. I didn't see the need to. I mean, I haven't made any progress whatsoever, so. Get hold of yourself. I'm here for you, right? I know, Jessica. I know. Thank you. I am at your door. 
have been knocking, but it seems Emmanuel is still deep into sleep. Uh, you are? Oh, okay, give me a second. I'll get there now. Oh. Shedding crocodile tears. This is where you are. No, I came to see the face of the woman, the most wicked woman I've ever known on earth. You're here shedding crocodile tears, eh? After killing my grandson, you're here shedding crocodile tears. Eh? You say what? You're sorry for what? Uh, you didn't know what? What didn't you know? That the harsh words you were using on this boy daily was affecting him emotionally, psychologically. You didn't know. And you say you're a mother. Uh, Wicked mother! Uh, you're here looking for sympathy. Uh, you're here looking for sympathy, crying, looking for sympathy. Mama, it, it, it's okay. Please calm down. Okay, 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 what? I, okay, what? Can, can I can I talk to you? You're here looking for sympathy, you! Where's my grandson? Mama, please come with me. Bring my grandson for me! It's okay, just go. Bring my grandson for me, you! We get so! Mama, Bring come. my grandson for me. Let's, let's talk. That's the only story I will hear! That's, that's enough, that's enough. You're crying. Mama, that's You're crying! Enough. That's okay, come on. I told her! I told her to let the man home! She killed me! I told her to let you run away. I told her, I'm very wicked, wicked, wicked mother. I told her, I told her to leave my ass alone. I told her to leave me ass alone. Oh, it's okay. Just go. Just go. So hard on yourself. Hey! Oh. You don't have to be hard on yourself. Emmanuel. Emmanuel is, is, is dead and gone. You know? Oh. And then again, we have to leave. We have to leave. We all don't have to die. Okay? Please just come down. 
need you to forgive my friend. Please. Forgive who? Forgive who? Your friend, Floxy, killed her son. A son she carried in her womb for nine months. A child she didn't know what she would become in future. Kid. And you're here to kill. Mom, please. I would mm. advise we let bygone be bygone. Let us come together as one so we can bear this great loss and encourage each other to move on. Apportioning blames at this point is dangerous. She's depressed. Mm. Please, let's come together. I, I, I don't want this to trigger your BP. Please, right now, I want you to eat. You need food. Please. I cannot eat or drink in this house. I'd rather starve. Mom. Please. Okay, fine. But calm down. Huh? Okay. You calm down. I'm living here. There's nothing I'm doing. There's nothing I'm doing. Leave me now. Leave me. Mama, look at her. Look at who? She's sorry. Look at this one. This will get so. Wait, let me go. Mama, I, I'm sorry, but I said leave the girl. Let me go. Mama, she is depressed already. You can't. What's my problem? What's my business? Because she's your daughter. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me go. Mama, please, please. Let me go now. I don't want all this. Let her bring back my grandson if you want me to stay here. Let her bring back my grandson if she wants me to stay here. Let me go. Mama, please come down. Please, just stay. Please. Let me go. Mama, I... Let me go! Let me go! No, 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 no. I am not stopping you from leaving, but I can't just let you go. No, sorry, Let me go, let me go. Oh, my God, let me go. Emmanuel! 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 Yeah, good morning. Uh, please, I'm looking for Emmanuel. My name is Amobi. I run a provision shop at the gates. Please go in and call me Emmanuel. Madam. Go in and call me Emmanuel. He's my friend. I want to see him. Emmanuel. Emmanuel died. What? Emmanuel is dead. How? What happened? He committed suicide. He committed suicide. Ha! No wonder this boy has been complaining bitterly about you. No, no, no. Yes! So you allow him to commit suicide? No. You kill him! No. Look! Basil! By the time I come back here with the police, all of you, I will get you arrested! No, wait! Please. What nonsense! You people are crazy people! No. I, I can't worry. No, my mother kill him. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Wait. I can't worry. Sixth of Luxy. I've not been seeing you in church lately. Did you travel? No, Pastor. I've been around. Oh, I see. I've been going through so much. I, I'm going through a lot, Pastor. I don't know. The devil is a liar. Amen. You say, Sixth of Luxy. My Bible tells me that there is nothing impossible for God. He says in his word, he says he's the Lord God of all flesh and that there is nothing impossible for him. I tell you, indeed there is nothing impossible for God. 
Amen. But this one just seems difficult, Pastor. My past is tormenting me. My past lies before me and I just can't move past it. It's just, I, I leave the memory of my past afresh every day. That's how I got pregnant. My parents were in shock. I was excommunicated from church. The elders of the church were ashamed. This whole drama later led to my father's death. And since then, I haven't been able to settle or get the whole trauma off my head. The minute these men come near me and find that I have a son, they flee. They flee like I'm some disease. Hello. You are on to Fluxo event. How may we help you? Oh, sorry. The CEO is not on seat as we speak. All right. Thank you. manage myself properly and instead of me to find out the root cause of my problems I put the whole anger on my son complaining insulting I frustrated him I frustrated my own son until until he died Jesus Christ <laughs> Well, prior to that time, several times, several times I've tried to poison my own son. Jesus Christ. I've tried to strangle my own boy until the wars happened on my birthday. Until the wars happened. My son drank poison. My very own son drank poison. I frustrated my son until he drank poison and killed himself. And I can't forgive myself, Pastor. I can't. I blamed him for another person's mistake. I just can't. I can't. Are you, are you saying Emmanuel is dead? My child. Jesus Christ. I can't heal. I can't. I can't heal, Pastor. I just I can't. I just can't. Sister Flossie. I am truly sorry. Oh, God. I'm sorry for what you're going through. Goodness, it's past lunch time. I think I should be heading for lunch. Do this when I'm back. Whew. Oh, my goodness. I I am the cause of your misfortune. <laughs> no one is a cause, Pastor. I'm the cause of my own misfortune. I'm the cause. No. No, you're not. 
My name, my name is Abraham Solomon. Do you know your name, Pastor? I. <laughs> I graduated from University of Otaku. <laughs> On the 9th of April, 